Hi guys, long time no see. I've got new hair and a new flat and unfortunately I don't have a set filming space yet but this is my bet so this will have to do for today. So you've already seen the title of this video. I got sent a package from Everyday Wigs. They got in contact with me and they wanted to send me a wig to try out because I wear so many of them. I love wigs. So they've sent this to me but I'm still going to be impartial if this wig sucks. I'm gonna tell you guys, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. I picked a really, really pretty wig, a kind that I actually don't have yet, so I'm excited. So they got in contact with me less than a week ago, I'd say maybe like four or five days ago, and this arrived yesterday, so it arrived super, super fast. This is the box it came in, it's super pretty, it says everyday wigs, and then on the sides is the Facebook and the Instagram and the website and if I open this up we've got the wig in a plastic bag and we've got a wig cap. I love like the image in these wig caps, this girl looks so derpy, it's amazing. But yeah, I'm really happy about this because I need a new one really really bad. And there's actually two caps in here so I have another backup, awesome. So if I open the wig up to show you guys. So I got their 24 inch blonde synthetic lace front. It's not super shiny. I think it looks a little shinier on camera than it is in real life. But it's super pretty and it's a lace front. And from what I can see, the lace actually looks like really, really nice. And the parting, I guess you'll see better once I have it on. The parting looks nice and realistic as well. And then on the inside, it's got three clips, two at the side, one kind of about here, and then it's got closures at the back um, to tighten it. And then on the inside of the wig, it's actually like ribbed, it's kind of like an accordion, it all folds in on itself, um, like the actual wig cap, which is quite cool. And then it's got a whole like frontal section with the lace. So I'm really stoked to try this on you guys. It's a fair bit longer than my natural hair and it actually looks really, really natural. I really, really like this. I believe this wig was about $100. They had some, they had some of the synthetic wigs that were like $99 and some of them were 103. I think this was 103. Um, but yeah. I'm going to tie my hair back, I'm going to put my wig cap on and then we're going to see how it looks. Okay, so I've just cut all the lace, I've done it quite close so hopefully it won't be visible. And I'm just going to stick it on my head. Get these combs in. Okay, so this is how it looks like on. I'm pretty happy with this you guys, especially for the price. Um, $100 really isn't like a super huge ridiculous amount of money for a lace front wig that's this long. I've brushed through this a little bit because the hair has kept getting caught in my ring and making it all tangled and there's not been like a huge amount of fallout, it's actually doing pretty well. Um, there's a couple of hairs on my brush but that's normal. Um, it's not getting too crazy tangled already, which is nice. But overall, I don't think this looks super crazy unnatural. I'm going to put some dry shampoo on it to try and get rid of any excess shine. It does still feel very like silky and fake. Um, not necessarily cheap silky and fake, but just, you know, it doesn't feel like real hair. And when I'm looking at the parting and the hairline, obviously under close inspection, it doesn't hold up. You can see the little lace fibres, but to be honest, like you don't want people looking that close at your head anyway for the most part. In terms of fit, I have a really, really small head. I have trouble getting hats that fit. So this, um, this fits and is probably perhaps a little too big for me, even with the, um, even with the little elastic things fully closed. Um, but that's just an issue for me. I'd say if you have a big head, you might have a problem. I haven't glued down the sections on the sides, um, but when I feel where they are fit-wise, they're right up against where they should be. Overall, I'm really happy with this. I can't wait to shoot in this. I've got some really cool ideas for something I could do 
I think if I had anything negative to say about this wig, it's the fact that the actual hairline is very like round. Um, but that's something that I could fix. That's definitely like not the end of the world. I can just pluck some of the hairs out and give it a more natural hairline. I think as well because I have like a very Sigourney Weaver style like um, square hairline. It's kind of weird to see myself with like um, a round one because the lace goes all the way around here. Um, I could do cute little updos. I could probably do like a Daenerys Targaryen style shoot wearing this. So I think this wig's going to need a tiny little bit of work. I think I need to um, take a couple of hairs out of the hairline and make it less round. But overall, but, but that's more of a personal preference thing. And overall, I'm really, really happy with this, you guys, especially for the price. It's really nice. It's definitely nicer than the standard cosplay wig. I think if I was to wear this out during the day, I'd probably still feel more comfortable wearing a hat over it just to hide any possible shininess from the crown. But that's true of most of my wigs, so that's not a huge deal. This is definitely less shiny than a lot of my other wigs. So thanks for watching, and thanks to Everyday Wigs for sending this wig to me. I can't wait to do some work in it. Uh, I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye bye.